Hello everyone and welcome to JAM Academy. Now this lesson is about calculating the work done in two and three dimensions. So far we have dealt with situations in which a force acting on a system causes the system to move in one dimensions. And we saw that the work done by the force is equal to the component of the force in the direction of motion multiplied by the magnitude of the displacement of the point of application of the force and this in general was f delta x cosine of theta but the thing is it is not in all circumstances that you will meet a force that causes an object to move in uh, in one dimension. Sometimes the very action of a force will cause an object to move along a plane. And uh, let me give you an example. Let's say that with this, let me include my coordinate axis. This is the X. This is the Z and this is the Y and the part in which the particle moves is along a plane. So how do we in this particular case calculate the work done on this particle? Let's say we have a particle here and a force is acting on a particle that is the force F in that direction and the particle moves from point one to another point two. So how do we determine the work done on this particle by the force F? In order for us to do so, we will utilize a property of vectors known as dot products. So the question is, what is a dot product? Now I'm going to give you the definition of a dot product, then I will give you the geometric interpretation of what dot products mean. What really is a dot product? Now when you multiply a vector by a scalar, you get a vector. But when you multiply a vector by another vector, you can either get a vector or you could get a scalar. When you multiply two vectors and the product is a scalar, we call that a dot product. Suppose, for example, we have a plane. In that plane, we have two vectors. This is vector A and uh, you have vector B. The angle between A and B is theta. The dot product between vector A and B, A dot B, is simply defined as the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B, the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. The cosine of the angle between the two vectors. This is crucial. This means that the angle between the two vectors A and B, cosine theta, can be given by A dot B divided by AB. This is the cosine of the angle between vector A and vector B. Now here's the cool part about it. Uh, just from the look of this definition, you can see that the dot product, which is a scalar product, can be positive, negative, or zero, depending upon the value of our angle theta. Let me give you an example. If theta is equal to zero, this would mean that the cosine of theta will be equal to 1. The cosine of theta will be equal to 1. This would imply that A dot B is just equal to AB, which is greater than 0. In this case, the dot product is positive. This occurs when vector A and vector B are pointing in the same direction. Similarly, if 
theta is equal to 90 degrees or it's equal to pi over 2 radians, we know that the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0. This would mean that a dot b will be equal to 0. This is particularly a very useful um, relationship. In other words, when two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product is 0. Let me say that again. When two vectors are perpendicular to each other, their dot product is 0. Now ask yourself, what are the two vectors that will come to mind that are perpendicular? As a matter of fact, when we look at the Cartesian coordinate system, this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, and this is our z-axis. Now the unit vector along the z-direction, this is k. The unit vector along the x-direction, this is i. And the unit vector along the y-direction, this is j. What you will notice is that the angle between these vectors are, or is 90 degrees. That means, that means that i dot j is equal to i dot k, which is equal to j dot k, which is equal to zero. This is really important and you will realize the importance very soon. So keep in mind the dot product of two vectors is zero. The, the, if, if, sorry, if the dot product of two vectors is zero, it means that the two vectors are perpendicular or at right angles to each other. Now the last thing that I would like for us to look at is the fact that if theta is equal to 180 degrees. This means that the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. Therefore, a dot b is equal to negative a b, which is less than 0. This only occurs when the two vectors are anti-parallel. In other words, a is to the right and b is to the left, in, the, in which case the angle between both vectors is 180 degrees. So when two vectors are pointing in the opposite direction, the dot product certainly is negative. Um, this really, um, are some of the mathematical toolbox that you will need in order to calculate work done in two dimensions. But the question is, what is the geometric meaning of dot product? You will find it very interesting. Let me do this here. We have vector A. This is a vector A. And uh, this is a vector B. We have here, this is a vector B. The angle between A and B is theta. The component of vector A along the direction of B, the component of vector A along the direction of B is given by, this is B cosine of theta. Now, the dot product between vector A and vector B is equal, listen attentively now, is equal to the component of vector B in the direction of A, which is B cosine theta, multiplied by the magnitude of vector A, which is just A. So if you rearrange this, you will have A, B, cosine theta. In other words, the dot product between two vectors is simply the product of the magnitude of vector b along the direction of vector a and the mag multiply by the magnitude of a. We call this the projection of b on a. Let me say that again, the projection of b on a. Think of it like your shadow. When you stand facing the sun, your shadow lies on the ground. So your shadow is your projection on the ground. So your shadow is more or less like your component in the horizontal direction. 
So this gives us encapsulate the meaning of the dot product. Therefore, in two dimensions, if you have a force F, you have here FXI plus FYG plus FZK, and you have a vector, for example, the displacement vector, um, delta R, delta R, you have here delta XI plus delta YG plus delta ZK. The work done by the force is simply equal to F dot delta R. Which implies that the work done by the force is equal to F delta R cosine of theta. But the question is, what is F dot delta R? This is crucial. What is F dot delta R? I'm going to illustrate that with an example. So, um, suppose we have a vector A. That vector A is equal to AXI plus AYG plus AZK and a vector B equal to BXI plus BYG plus BZK. Then the dot product between A and B, A dot B, will be equal to AX multiplied by BX plus AY multiplied by BY plus AZ multiplied by BZ. This formula right here gives us the dot product between both vectors. Now, I will prove this formula as an example so that you can actually see how this was arrived upon. Um, let me give you an example. If vector A is equal to 2i plus j plus 3k and vector B is equal to i minus 2j plus 5k, then A dot B is equal to 2 times 1, that will be 2, plus 1 times minus 2, this will be minus 2, plus 3 times 5, which is 15. So this in itself is just going to be equal to 15. So the dot product of two vectors seriously is just a scalar quantity. So if we come back here, then the dot product of vector A and vector B, this means that the work done will be equal to Fx delta x plus Fy delta y plus Fz delta z. This will give us the work done by the force in two and three dimensions. I realize that this is a little bit lengthy, but uh, fun, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask in the discussion forum below. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.